doors are there to be opened. That's their whole purpose. If they weren't supposed to be opened, they wouldn't be a door at all. They'd be a wall. But sometimes the things that go down in a room can be so scary, secret, strange, or all of the above that the rules change, and the door must never be opened again. These are mysterious doors that can never be opened. Number 15. Padmanabhaswami Temple India is a land of real mystery with countless temples for its many religions and variations of those religions. There is little doubt that India is one of the most spiritually important places on Earth, but sometimes accessing the strangest elements of these mysterious belief systems is reserved for only those who are fully prepared. Or in some cases, no one at all is allowed to go beyond a certain point. And I mean this literally because we are talking about the Padmanabhaswami Temple. Temple, a divine place, but also one with some serious supernatural mysteries. The most famous mystery is the underground vaults beneath the shrine to Maha Vishnu. In 2011, a retired cop was granted permission from India's Supreme Court to make an inventory of the temple's hidden wealth so it could be taxed. What his team discovered were six hidden vaults sealed off with immense iron doors. A huge effort was required to open the doors, and they were able to open five of them each one revealing immense treasures of gold, gems, and coins. However, one of the vaults was even more strongly reinforced than the others, and even with modern equipment, could not be opened. The temple priests and Vedic scholars, the Vidals, being the most ancient Hindu scriptures, have warned that grave misfortunes would fall upon any who disrupt the sacred vaults, especially the final one. Already, the cop who began the looting has died, and two other members of the door-breaking team have passed away. Anyone have the nerve to upset the temple gods and try the final door? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Sphinx. The Great Sphinx at Giza is one of the most famous and mysterious human constructions in the world. At least, we assume it was built by humans. It is famous for its lion's body and pharaoh's head, but there are many who believe that the head was added much later by a vain pharaoh, replacing the original head. The ancient Greeks were fascinated by the Sphinx, and it was around thousands of years before even ancient Greece. Inside, however, is the greatest mystery, myths from the past tell us that the great secrets of the universe were known to the Egyptians of the Old Kingdom, perhaps passed to them by a race of higher intelligence than ourselves who have long since gone extinct. And it is said these secrets were kept in a chamber under the Sphinx and protected by a curse. The inside of the Sphinx has been raided and explored many times in its long life, and it could be as much as 10,000 years old. But this great hall was never located, and nowadays the Egyptians Egyptian government refuses all archaeological digs. However, modern X-ray scans have revealed that deep below the Sphinx, there are hidden chambers. Could these finally reveal the mysteries of the universe? The only problem is finding the door to get inside. Number 13. Onkalo Spent Nuclear Fuel Repository how to get rid of nuclear waste has been a controversial and hotly debated topic for several decades. After it turned out that just dumping it directly into the sea was a bad idea, who would have thought? Nuclear waste producing nations began looking into alternative methods of getting rid of it. Dumping nuclear waste in the ocean was only banned in 1993, and countries reacted in a variety of ways. Finland passed a law the following year which said all of its nuclear waste had been disposed of within Finland, which was probably a relief for the neighbors to hear. The plan was to build a huge underground nuclear waste repository, and the project has taken some time to be completed, but now in 2021, it is nearing the end, and should be operational by 2023. From that point, it will be filled with copper canisters of spent nuclear fuel, and there's enough space to keep filling for 100 years. After that time, an enormous door will be sealed over it, with a warning to people of the far distant future that it should never be opened. Number 12. Taj Mahal 
The Taj Mahal was built by the Emperor Shah Jahan, who was in charge of that part of India back in the 17th century, when the Muslim Mughals, a warlike people from modern Uzbekistan, ruled it. This emperor was so in love with his third wife, Mamtaz Mahal, that he decided to build her the greatest mausoleum in the world when she tragically died aged 38. And he succeeded in doing just that, as the Taj Mahal is one of the most visited tourist sites in the entire world today. But what the tourists see is only a small part of the complex, and there are many mysteries in its 1,089 rooms. Along the eastern side of the building arches, are a clue that there may be even more rooms than those already counted. There are also hidden floors above the grave of Mumtaz, which also seem to contain sealed doors to hidden rooms. Speculation about what is in them has gone on for centuries, but so far authorities have refused to allow any investigation into these hidden doors. Number 11. Area 51 this is surely the most famous mystery military site in the world. And if we were to start to try and list the theories about what goes on in Area 51, this video would be about three hours long. Area 51 is actually a U.S. Air Force base located at Groom Lake, which is a dry lake bed in Nevada, located about 85 miles from Las Vegas. What goes on there is extremely secretive, and the place is extremely heavily guarded around the clock, and flying over it is illegal. However, satellite images of Area 51 are available, and from them we can at least deduce there are some very long runways and large hangars. It opened at the height of the Cold War in 1955, and was where some of the U.S.'s most high-profile aircraft, such as the U-2 spy plane and the SR-51 Blackbird. It was never acknowledged as even existing until 2013, when the CIA and President Obama admitted that it did. Most famously, it is believed that the alien craft that supposedly crashed at nearby Roswell in 1947 is stored there, along with the bodies of the alien pilots. But whatever the truth is, no civilian is ever going to be allowed past the door that guards it, even if they do try and organize storming it as a Facebook event. Number 10. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is a citadel belonging to another mysterious people of the past, the Inca. It was built in the 15th century as the Incan Empire reached its most magnificent time, before the Spanish arrived and things started to fall apart pretty rapidly for the Inca. And it was believed of this that Machu Picchu was abandoned. <laughs> just a hundred years after it was built for the mighty Emperor Pachacuti. In more recent times, the site has become a major tourist attraction, as well as a source of huge interest for archaeologists hoping to learn more about the mighty and mysterious Inca civilization. One archaeological study used electromagnetic equipment to investigate hidden areas and discover a hidden chamber behind the walls of Machu Picchu. Many appeals to the Peruvian government to open the sealed door of the chamber have been made, but all have so far been refused. A lot of people suspect that this chamber may contain the remains of Pachacuti, which would be an incredible find for archaeologists, as long as they are prepared to face the possible curses on the tomb, which many have speculated are destined for whoever enters it. Number 9. Svalbard Seed Vault if you've been worrying about the apocalypse, then I've got good news for ya. Norway has got your back. Should civilization end due to some enormous catastrophe, one of the most important things the survivors will need to do is start regrowing crops. But if all the plants have died, then there may be no way to do so. Well, the Norwegian government established the Svalbard Global Seed Vault on a remote island in the Arctic. In here is an enormous bank of copies of seeds, which are held in other gene banks all over the world. It's also a pretty cool looking building, and the project was largely funded by Bill Gates, so it must be legit, right? Anyway, since 2008, the vault has amassed around 400,000 kinds of seeds, with around 500 copies of each, which would allow for significant repopulation of the world's plant life in a post-apocalyptic future. So if you wake up as one of the lucky ones following the nuclear 
war or meteor strike, and your first thought is that you'd love a nice tasty banana, all you will have to do is make your way to an isolated island in the Arctic Ocean, somehow get through the locked doors, and grab a few banana tree seeds, before heading back to some tropical part of the world where you can grow it, and voila, you have your banana! Number 8. The Lasco Cave France is another country which is home to many mysteries, and some of those mysteries date far, far back in prehistory. Lascaux is a cave complex near the town of Montenac in the southwestern Dordogne region. Back in 1940, 18-year-old Marcel Ravidat was out walking his dog, perhaps contemplating the occupation of France by Germany, which had taken place just a couple of months before, and he found himself just inside the zone, which the Germans hadn't invaded. Yet, anyway, on the walk, his dog, Robot, fell into a hole, and Marcel ran to get three friends. The young men descended 50 feet down into the hole, and not only did they find Robot, but they also found chambers containing works of art created by people 17,000 years ago. After the war, the caves became a tourist sensation, but in 1955 it was discovered that the unique artworks were becoming severely damaged by CO2 breathed out by the many visitors, often more than 1,000 per day. They were permanently closed to the public in 1963. Today we have exact replicas on display made from the same iron oxide, charcoal, and ochre as were used back then. They are mainly depictions of animals, but show the artist had developed sense of style, as well as aesthetic understanding of how art works as representation, things not believed to have been developed until much later. And not only that, some of the animals depicted are megafauna, which have long since gone extinct. There is truly nothing else like it on Earth, but it is sadly too fragile for that door to ever be opened to the public again. Number 7. Center for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta one thing that might come as some comfort to know, if you are watching this while we are still in the pandemic, is that we have completely defeated two infectious diseases in the past. One of them, smallpox, was a major pandemic back in the 18th century in Europe, killing around 500,000 Europeans of all ages every year. And while it had been a problem for at least 10,000 years, it really got going in the 20th century when it killed about 500 million people. However, we have now completely eradicated it. Well, almost, because Russia and the US decided that they should keep hold of a tiny little bit of the virus just in case they needed it in the future. And the place that smallpox is stored in the US is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. The idea was to put the live virus in the labs and then lock them away, which is what has been done now. They are locked up and heavily guarded. However, the virus remains such a threat to humanity that both governments have considered destroying their samples as a security measure. But for now, there's a locked door in Atlanta behind which is a microscopic virus that can kill in the hundreds of millions. Number 6. Room 873 the Banff Springs Hotel is a luxury four-star hotel in Alberta, Canada, where the rooms can cost you around $400 a night. So it's a pretty nice hotel, it is fair to say. In fact, it's an incredibly impressive and huge old hotel with a slightly creepy look to it. And there's plenty of rooms you can choose from, like room 872 for example, or indeed the spacious and elegant room 874. Just don't ask to stay in room 873 because it doesn't exist, at least according to the hotel staff. However, if you head up to the spot right between rooms 872 and 874, there is a mysterious door-shaped space space that seems to have been bricked over and redecorated. Tapping on the wall ought to confirm that there is indeed an empty room in behind this wall. So why was 873 bricked up and never used again? The story goes that a man stayed there with his family and went berserk, murdering his wife and his daughter. 
Happens a lot more in hotels than you might think, sadly. But after they redecorated the room, guests complained of hearing screams and sobbing sounds like a young girl. So they decided to brick it up and remove all references to room 873. There's several other ghost stories in the hotel, like the bride in the 1920s who fell down the main staircase and died. But room 873 is the most mysterious and that door will never be opened again. Number 5. Pablo Escobar Safe Pablo Escobar is probably the most notorious drug lord of all time. His wealth came from smuggling cocaine from South America into the US in the 1980s and 1990s, where the war on drugs was at its peak. And by the way, if you were wondering who won the US war on drugs, it was the drugs. Anyway, by 1990, it was estimated that 80% of the cocaine in the US was being supplied by Escobar, who was known as the king of cocaine and is recognized as the wealthiest criminal of all time. At the time of his death in 1993, his net worth was estimated at 60 billion in today's money. It's fair to say he had a few enemies, and this includes the Colombian government, who executed him outside his home after he had been on the run following an escape from prison. While he was alive, he loved buying houses. He had many safe houses, most of them incredibly luxurious, and he was fascinated by ancient Greece and was in the process of building a Greek-style citadel in Colombia when he died. He also owned a huge, pink 1940s beachfront home in Miami. Later in 2014, this home was bought by Christian de Bredouar proprietor of the Chicken Kitchen fast food chain. De Bredouard decided to demolish the mansion, but hired a team to search its many mysterious secret doors to find evidence of things Escobar left behind. And they found a huge metal safe buried deep in the structure. Before they could decide what to do with the safe, it was stolen and has never been recovered. So we will never unlock the door hiding Escobar's secret treasure. I expect it might be more white than gold though. Number 4. North Brother Island Just a mile from Manhattan is an island which holds a dark and mysterious piece of New York history. North Brother Island has been abandoned for more than half a century, and its long story is one of death and disease. From the 1880s until World War II, it served as a quarantine island, where people carrying infectious diseases would be sent, including the famous Typhoid Mary, whose real name was Mary Mellon. She became famous for being the first asymptomatic typhoid carrier in the USA, unwittingly infecting many people with the disease. But she was not alone, and many other people who had a whole variety of infectious diseases were sent there in what must have been a hellish place. It closed in the 1940s, but was repurposed as a drug rehabilitation island for teens until 1963, when that closed again. Now it is illegal to set foot there without special permission, and remains one of New York's darkest mysteries. Number 3. Mausoleum of the First Jin Empire the mausoleum of the first Jin Empire is Lintong District, Xi'an, in the Shanxi province of China. It is extremely ancient, having been constructed in the 3rd century BC. The mausoleum is a scale model of the Jin capital city, Xi'an, and is set beneath a huge mound which is shaped like a truncated pyramid. On the eastern side is one of the most famous destinations in all of China, the chamber holding the Terracotta Army. Archaeological work on this section discovered in 1974 is still incomplete, and it means that the actual tomb of the emperor remains unexcavated. But whoever does excavate the sealed tomb of the emperor should face some dangerous conditions, as it is believed there is a model of the Yangst and Yellow Rivers following through the tomb, not only with water but with liquid mercury. Number 2. Black Dolphin Prison Going to prison in Russia is no joke. No Norwegian-style Xbox tournaments and cordon blue cookery nights here, but then Russia has a lot more criminals than Norway, and some of the worst ones may have the misfortune to end up in Black Dolphin Prison, Russia's oldest and most notorious prison. It began life as a jail for hard labor convicts back in 1745. Thank <laughs> you. 
Since then, it has been revamped several times, and in the year 2000, it was set aside for Russia's worst criminals. Today, it houses 700 child molesters, murderers, terrorists, cannibals, and serial killers in the high-security block. New inmates are blindfolded, so they cannot map out the surrounding landscape. They are kept active. For the 16 hours a day, they are not asleep and are placed under 24-hour-a-day surveillance with security checks every 15 minutes around the clock. They are only allowed books, newspapers, and a radio, and are fed four bowls of soup every day are given exercise in a cage for 90 minutes a day, and during this time officers meticulously search every cell for contraband items or signs of escape plans. Otherwise, they spend their time in complete isolation. No prisoner has ever escaped from the high-security block of Black Dolphin, nor has one ever been discharged. These men go there and stay there until they die. Even when they need to be moved to a new building, they are taken bent at right angles, with their cuffed hands elevated so they cannot see anything but the floor, or try any funny business. Once the door here closes, it stays closed. Number 1. Chernobyl Back in 1986, the world watched in horror as a nuclear reactor began to melt down in the USSR. Situated near the town of Pripyat in what is now Ukraine, this was the disaster people had feared the most since nuclear reactors became a reality. And the plans to try and stop the meltdown were not exactly flawless either. However, incredibly brave Soviet workers entered the disaster zone to try and contain the radioactive matter. When they were there, they noticed something unusual beneath Reactor 4. A seven-foot-wide mass of extremely radioactive matter, sand, glass, metal, and other materials that weighed more than 100 tons due to its insane density. It was burning so hot, it destroyed its own containment area and burned through to the basement below. The mass became known as the Elephant's Foot due to its wrinkly appearance. It was so radioactive in 1986 that five minutes of exposure guaranteed death within 48 hours. Nevertheless, some slightly crazy Soviet workers opened the door to the basement to step in and take photos. Even now it would be lethal to spend an hour in that basement. Would you dare step through any of these mysterious doors? Do you believe that ancient tombs can be cursed? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!